Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Weinberger and I'm talking about synthetic Tate computability for simpler type theory. This is joint work with Benedict Ahrens, Ulrich Buchholz and Paige North. So we're interested in, um, in a type theory for synthetic infinity categories and its meta-theoretic properties. The mathematical motivation for this comes uh, from the following um, circumstance. So homotopy type theory or HOT is a synthetic theory of infinity group points because we can reason about um, the undirected path types or types of identifications between points in a type. But for infinity one categories or infinity categories for short, we need directed arrow types. So Real Schulman in 2017 proposed STT, a simplicial extension of HOT to achieve precisely this. And in fact, this theory has been used to do quite some amount of um, more synthetic infinity category theory, namely by Cavallo and Sattler, uh, Ulrich and myself, Bartomiano Martinez, and in a bicubical setting by Weaver and Licata. This work draws important inspiration from Real Verity's model independent infinity category theory, uh, which itself has not been formulated inside of type theory, but uh, has um, a very important fundamental role um, in motivating um, many constructions. And in fact, um, uh, quite some amount of them can be done in STT. In particular, there also exists a prototype proof assistant for this type theory um, developed by Nikolai Kodasov, which you can try out online. So how does this theory build up? First of all, we start with the directed bipointed interval or the one simplex. We can take finite powers of this, giving us the square, the three-dimensional cube and the higher cubes. So at the basis of simplicial type theory lies a logic uh, that allows for carving out certain subshapes of these figures giving a, a rise to um, a construction of the two simplex, uh, the other n simplices and subshapes of those. And this can be done um, using a logic uh, which um, has um, a judgmental or a strict notion of term equality built in. The homotopical uh, type theory layer is then fibered over this. Um, and we add another gadget connecting these layers called extension type. This is originally due to lumsden schumann but you can find an instance of this also in the form of half types in cubical type theory. The picture is that we're talking about pi types with strict side conditions. How does, how does this look like? First of all, we start with the shape inclusion phi into psi. Uh, then we look at a family P defined over psi. Uh, and then we fix a partial section defined only on phi. Then we're interested in all the terms B, which are sections of P, defined on psi that judgmentally or strictly restrict to A. And the type of all those extensions is called the extension type. It's not a, it's um, written down like this. Semantically you can think of it as a strict pullback, but the point is that to achieve the strict computational behavior, we have to add it as a type former in the type theory. Using the one simplex, we can now also define the direct Tom type. So in our project, we're interested in the meta theory of simplicial type theory. Uh, we want to prove um, certain theorems about it. And the idea is to adapt the setup of synthetic Tate computability, which uh, has been devised by Sterling and Sterling and Julie, uh, and used for um, proving analogous results about cubical type theory. The idea is to first define um, the type theory in question in an abstract logical framework then from this build a normalization topos um, and then use the internal language of this topos to prove theorems such as in particular normalization um, uh, using a version of normalization by evaluation or NBE in a synthetic way that is independent of the raw term syntactic encoding of the type theory in question. Our progress so far is that we have adapted and adjusted many key components of uh, the work by Sterling and Sterling and Julie uh, from the case of simplicial, from the case of cubicle to simplicial type theory. Ultimately, 
we think that this should yield uh, in a very analogous way the same meta theoretic results, uh, namely normalization, idempotence of normalization, and decidability of judgmental equality. Overall, this method goes back to the classical version of Tate computability um, due to Bill Tate in 67, later refined by Girard and Martin Leff, uh, and used in other work by Altenkirch, Hofmann, Streicher in 95, Trubridge, uh, Dubier, and Scott in 98, Fiore, Abel, and Altenkirch, Koposchi uh, later on. So there also have recently been uh, other accounts to meta-theoretic results about cubicle type theory by Huber, Cocon, Anjali Favonia Huber, Cocon, Huber and Sattler and Uemura, but their techniques weren't um, uh, exactly as synthetic um, as uh, synthetic Tate computability. Despite it being a rather new framework, STC has already uh, seen many applications by various authors and various conjunctions, um, such as Sterling, Anjoli, Grazza, Birkedal, uh, Neil Grodin, Harper, Uemura, and uh, Kolomotskaya. The statement of um, normalization reads as follows. Given any type in simplicial type theory or any term, both can be brought uh, into a unique normal form in an effective way i.e. using a computable function. So note that we are working in this kind of extended context here, uh, where a type family A not only depends on a usual type context gamma, but also on a shape or a top phi in a cube context xi. And likewise for the terms or the sections. So the first step is to present our type theory via an abstract syntax. And this can be done using a framework of signatures um, for which again uh, exists a type theory. So we start with two basic forms of judgment that something is cube, a tope, or a type. Then families over a tope can be presented using this type theory of signatures. And the extension type former can then be presented um, also in this language. As a parameter, it takes a shape inclusion necessarily defined over the same uh, cube context, then a family as above, depending on the larger shape, and a partial section, and it gives back a type, the extension type. The next step is to define neutral and normal forms. So now we're placing ourselves in this computability topos in its internal language, where we assume a proposition, Pilcro, witnessing that a piece of computability data is in fact pure syntax. This gives rise to an open and a closed modality, which are operations on types, um, or more precisely on um, computability objects, um, projecting down to the purely syntactic or the purely semantic part. The next step is to lift the top universe to first a computability structure, and from then a normalization structure, both of which are aligned over T, i.e. over the syntactic part, they restrict exactly to T. Now, as is common for NBE, we define the neutral and normal forms inductively. So the neutral forms are sort of the um, uh, format for our terms to begin the NBE algorithm with. But now what's new here is that the neutrals are parameterized by what's called a frontier of instability, and it is in fact um, uh, a top formula uh, where further computability is, um, is necessary. By this, we mean the following. So assume for instance, we, we have an arrow. If we evaluate it at an anonymous variable, in general, we couldn't evaluate any further. But if the variable happens to be from the boundary, i.e. zero, then a next step in the evaluation or in the computation would be required because we know that on the boundary, on zero, it computes to X. This is precisely the problem that uh, Sterling and Anjuli discovered for cubicle type theory. And they were able to solve it by introducing um, uh, a refinement um, of the 
usual way how to deal with neutrals. So in the classical picture, Tate's method can be described as follows. So from a structure consisting of neutrals, one defines a map called reflection, giving us um, some piece of computability semantics. And then from this, via a second map called reification, we arrive at the normal forms. Both of these maps are supposed to be vertical, i.e. they should coincide um, with the identity over the syntax, i.e. they should leave the syntax unchanged. Remember that this is tracked by a proposition uh, in our internal language. Now, uh, we have parameterized the neutrals by the so-called frontier of instability. And Sterling and Jolie have then defined a notion of stabilized neutrals, where first of all, we take a neutral, which we know to be unstable on the frontier um, or the top chi. Uh, and then to stabilize it, we just add some computability data to it. And this gives rise to the object of stabilized neutrals um, and a stabilized version of the reflection map, uh, which uh, also has to be aligned in the right sense. So Sterling and Anjuli have proven this to be possible for the case of cubicle type theory. And uh, deriving from our considerations, this seems to be likewise possible for a simplicial type theory. The stabilized state yoga then serves to lift the computability structure on the types to a normalization structure. So in the case of extension types, we have to lift these to the level of uh, normal forms first. So remember how the extension type is being introduced by this set of data here. So this we have seen before. And its behavior or the, the rules as they would be presented in type theory and the logical framework are presented through an isomorphism connecting it to the extension type of the internal language, which is what, um, what this here stands for. This then gets lifted to the level of neutral and normal forms by replacing the universe of types with the universe of normal forms. And uh, um, the objects of uh, terms with the objects of normal forms again, which is supposed to be aligned in the appropriate sense um, over, the, over the original syntax. Now the frontier of instability has to be taken care of when we take a neutral from the extension type, uh, unstable over chi, and evaluate it at a, at a section. Then we get a term which stays unstable over chi, but in addition, it also becomes unstable over phi because this is the computational behavior that is prescribed by the extension type. Now the normalization structure for extension types gets defined as follows. First of all, we replace the type theoretic universe um, with the refined version of um, types with a normalization structure. Again, aligned in the appropriate sense of the syntax. Then the stable version of reflection and reification are defined recursively in a somewhat traditional way. But then again, um, we also have to take care of um, the frontier of instability. So when we define stable reflection of a term, we have to take uh, the reflection of the uh, applications of this term, uh, uh, of this, yeah, of this, uh, of this uh, section. Um, again, taking care of the additional frontier of instability uh, prescribed by phi. So this really works analogously or generalizes in a formal way the definition for path types given in the cubicle setting 
by Sterling and Anjuli. And it's a sort of blown up or more refined version of exactly the pattern that you employ in the more classical setting of lambda calculus with just ordinary function types. So in the final step, one has to construct the computability topos and the normalization functions. So to do this, we consider the category of judgments of simplicial type theory and the category of atomic contexts. The category of judgments can be seen as um, decodings of these atomic contexts. The morphisms each time are renamings of variables. Hence, there exists a canonical projection alpha, also called the canonical figure shape. And this lifts to the level of pre sheaf toposes. Now, the computability or normalization topos gets defined as a, as a push out by gluing in copies of the category of atomic contexts in a syntactic axis and a semantic axis. This process can be described as Arten gluing involving the canonical figure shape, which makes very explicit in, in categorical terms um, the descriptions of, of this category here as actual compu computational or computability data. And also from this setting, we can extract the syntactic proposition. One can then show analogously to the setup by Sterling and Anjuli that this computability topos is a model for the correct version of synthetic Tate computability. And then using these internal definitions of the normalization structure and the stabilized Tate computability that we've seen before, one can give an internal version of um, the NBE functions for types and terms. So what remains to be done is to completely finalize the construction of simplicial STC and the proofs, and also add to our consideration some base types that are desired as well as the Martin Love identity types, um, which are still missing currently, the intentional, in, intentional identity types. One of the hopes for the future is to be able to prove meta theorems also for even more complex theories, such as further extensions of simplicial type theories, of simplicial type theory by certain modalities or multimodalities, and to be able to do this as modularly as possible. So here I've prepared a, another overview of some central references. And uh, I thank uh, everyone watching for their attention.